Okay, review 288. Um, it's your homework. You don't have to do the other part. Explain how to graph each equation. You don't have to use um, transformation. You don't have to do that. Just explain how you use it. Tell a story to describe the graph, okay? Days and number of leaves. This is day first month. First day of the month, there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen leaves. Seventeen leaves. This is day two, three, four, five. This is day five. There are also seventeen leaves. Day six, day seven is um, sixteen, fourteen leaves. So forth, so on. Each dot tells you the days and the leaves. Weight of the puppy. Describe that. At, at birth, zero days. The puppy weighs three pounds. Write this down. Okay. You're supposed to write this down. So, day one, 17 leaves. Day five, there's 17 leaves, etc. etc. Finish writing all the days and how many leaves there are. Okay, so the puppy's born at about a little bit over three pounds. And two months at about two months, it gained four more pounds. Seven pounds total, right? At, um, I say at this point, at this is like a plateau. That means it's just horizontal, you know, it doesn't change that much. At how many months is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve months. At a year old, it is about how many pounds you count that. And then at this much must it starts going down. A tad bit to stabilize. And at that point maybe you don't need to describe that. That's max. And then afterwards kinds of stabilize. After a year old, twelve months. You can write that all down. Find the slope of this. I'm going to look to see if you know how. I'll make sure you remember how to find slope. And then the next textbook page is going to, I think, 300 something. So. so 300. Okay, all the way here. Okay. I'm not going to do um, an equation of a line for you because you should know how to do that by now. If not, I need to see the work. I mean, I'll see the work. Um, you draw in your line of best fit, and all of you may have a different line than myself. But the y-intercept, I would use 0, 1. Find the slope, write it in slope-intercept form. Same thing here. That's not the best of line, the best fit. Probably use that one. 
but you draw your own. Each of us is different and write a line of best fit for it. It all looks like easy because it all has a Y intercept. Hmm. This one here may be tricky. I would take be about the middle of them all like that. So half is above it and half is below it. And this may have one little more, but you separate it. But you draw your line of best fit in and write an equation of the line. And these questions, oh, and there's the answer. Okay, make sure you use another sheet of paper to make this graph. This is um, oh notice they put um, time since 1956 zero is 1956 and the years after that for the graph um, yeah that one do all that skip stretch and then do the review on the next page, okay? Um, I think on this page, I want you to find the, um, just find the median. I won't have you find median. Median is the middle number. And the mode. See if who knows who remembers how to do median and mode. Least number at least to greatest and then figure out the middle number. Mode is the number that occurs the most. Okay. Four hours of sleep. Hours of sleep. this one and for this one here find age of cars median and mode of age of cars and tell whether it's a function or not hey you're here I'm gonna look for this you should know how to do Find the slope and y-intercept of these two equations there. Okay, you've done a lot.